Hi, so I'm sorry for blinding you at the beginning. This is how this camera works. When I put on the flash, it does this weird thing. Anyway, let me talk to you about my Arizona hoard. That's what I call it. I went there about four years ago. And so let me start off with this one. I went to a thrift shop. I couldn't even tell you what the name was. But it was somewhere in deep country. And it was run by little old ladies. And what they did was that they would label everything. They were so sweet. It was like one of my favorite experiences in thrifting. That they would write the name here. All I can read is marble beading stretch bracelet. Not sure what the first word says. If you can read it, let me know. And if you know what these are, let me know. see them and I'll tell you a little story so at the end when you're shopping with them you get to spin a wheel and after you spin the wheel it tells you what percentage they're gonna take off and I got 50% off so this was 50% off 1250 and I really like the beads And they almost look like moonstone, almost, in some parts, but they're not. See how pretty that is? And then this ones, I think I got them with them or somewhere. When I went thrifting in Arizona, everything was stones. It was wonderful. It was like magical. Not only the landscape, but I just love the Arizona and the people there. This is Lapis Lazuli. I'm not sure if this is silver. The beads could be silver. I really haven't tested them. And they're very simple, but I like the color. And then this green bead. I'm trying not to get the background shot because it's a mess right now. I'm trying to clean up. This one's... Oh, look at this one. Look at these earrings. There's something else. This one's I think I got in an antique shop for like a dollar or so. And I'm trying not to give away prices. It's a bad habit. Because then when you buy, you have people trying to buy things from you. They try to bargain based on what you paid. Without thinking about logistics and the time you spend and the gas spend and the time spent picking out things. Just saying. For you resellers, you understand what I'm saying. And this one, this one came from the little, I think it came from the little ladies, but why don't I have the tag to this one? I don't remember if it came from them or it came from another thrift shop. But if you can see it right there, you can see the beads on it. They form an interesting pattern. And if you know the names of any beads, let me know. Uh, let's see this one. This one says 24 inch necklace shell pendant multi strand 850. And this is where when I was there. I kept the labels there just to remind me. Look at that. Look at the pearls. I'm not sure if these are freshwater pearls, this is dirty, or if they're synthetic, doesn't really matter to me. The combo is really nice, look at, look at that bead, look at all the work that went into this one. The combination is perfect. This one, I'm telling you, Arizona to me was such a magical place, this one. I bought it at the parking lot of a grocery store and they had like a little flea market thing going. My friend, my friends bought um, emeralds, like raw emeralds. I don't know what else to call them, but they were not like the, the clear stone emeralds you find in rings. They were just like, like I'm telling you, raw emeralds, which they bought. And I am so sorry I didn't buy any. I feel like I should have bought more stones when I was there. 
Like their little frogs, their little blue frogs. I'm pretty sure this is a dyed stone. I don't know. I can't think of any stone that look, that is this color except for blue turquoise, which I think comes from the Middle East. And I'm pretty sure this isn't it. But I like the necklace. So this was part of my Arizona hoard. This is the pieces that I've kept. I have other stuff, but they're like beads. They're not anything this well they're not like this so anyway this was it and i hope you enjoyed my video talk to you next time